Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kayla, otherwise known as Let's Get Knit Face here on YouTube and over on Instagram if you want to give me a follow there. And welcome to my channel if you are new here. We do some knitting and crocheting content. And if you have been around my channel since January of this year, 2021, then you would know that my big project for the year has been a temperature blanket. I made a video back in January that kind of outlined what the project is and all the steps that I took to get started in making one, which I will link below. But basically, a temperature blanket is a blanket that you knit or crochet that has a row in it one for each day of the year that you work in a certain color to represent what temperature it was outside that day so I never really thought I would care about the temperature this much but turns out I spent quite a bit of time making a blanket that was dedicated to it I've heard of people even making this blanket based off of their mood that day but typically the blanket is worked in a rainbow scale. So warmer colors represent warmer temperatures and colder colors represent colder temperatures. But you could take this any way you want. You can work in all shades of one color. You could do a gray scale or a neutral scale blanket, really whatever you wanna do. I just recommend really thinking about your colors hard because you are gonna stare at them a lot and you're gonna work on this blanket a lot and you wanna be able to enjoy it at the end and not really regret any of your decisions. So let's talk about the colors that I went with for this blanket. The yarn that I used is the same one that I mentioned in the original video which is impeccable yarn by loops and threads it's a very basic acrylic yarn you can get it at Michaels and it's cheap which is something that I recommend that you pay attention to because if you make this blanket quite large it is going to suck up a lot of yarn my blanket used 21 balls of this yarn to be specific um, so I'm glad that the price tag wasn't super high and that I could find it on sale all the time I think it retails for 379 and Michaels pretty much has sales on their yarn all the time, so most of the time I was able to find it half off. So it was under $2 for each ball, which is a pretty good price. Um, and I have my scale here, which you might recognize from the beginning video. It's just a piece of cardboard that I put kind of the buckets that I wanted to use and then the col colorway of the yarn so that I could keep track of it. Um, but like I said in, I think, one of my check-in videos, I actually ended up just, I have like some wonky, um, ranges here where like some of them have 15 degrees. I'm working in Fahrenheit by the way and I live in the United States um, in Chicago so that is why it's kind of an expansive list because we we experience all of the seasons so I needed to cover all of the all of the temperatures. If you live in like Florida or somewhere warm um, it, and you might not get down to 20 degrees you can definitely amend your scale so that you have smaller ranges right um, more in the warmer temperatures or vice versa. So the colors that I had talked about in my original video um, are a little bit different. I had like a yellow here and a burnt orange for the top bucket but I kind of realized that because I was going off of the daily average temperature I was never going to use that top bucket it was never going to be an average temperature of 95 degrees so I just kind of threw that one out and then I wanted to go with a warmer hot pink as my top color so here is kind of the scale it's fairly neutral with having pops of color and darkness um, and I think it's pretty well balanced maybe if this was a little bit more muted it would go a little bit better together but I do like the way that it turned out and I never really got sick at looking at these colors and looking at the finished blanket I'm pretty happy with it so that's one thing that I definitely recommend if you're thinking about making this blanket um is to really think hard about your colors and to make sure that you're going to like them forever so yeah that's my scale I will actually list out the buckets and the names of the colorways in the description if you're interested in using a couple of them or even replicating the scale completely but yeah I used 21 balls so it was kind of a lot of yarn. Okay, so I'm not sure the best way to go about doing this because it's pretty big, but I think I'm just gonna hold it up. But first, should we do like a one of those cleansing rituals where you give me the bad energy? These are supposed to make you feel good. Have you ever seen the TikToks? And then I give you good energy for 2022. There you go. And now without further ado, here is my temperature blanket for 2021. Here it is. Kind of hard to hold. First half, second half. First half, second half. Woohoo! 
Okay, maybe I'll just lay it down and then we can talk about it. Here is the blanket all laid out on my floor and we can go through it month by month and talk about what colors was used the most. So here is January, February, March, April, May, June, getting a little warmer, July, August, definitely the warmest, September, October, November, and December. So I would say the most common color is probably between this lighter pink, which was the 70 to 80 degree Fahrenheit bucket, or this blue green, which was the 40 to 50 degree bucket. So those were probably my most commonly used colors. As you can see, they are all over this blanket. And then my least commonly used color was probably this um, blue or the green, which were the coldest buckets. So other than that, I think nature did a pretty good job dispersing the colors. You can definitely tell where summer is and where the winter months are. And I also added in fringe on either side of my blanket. I had talked about adding this in in one of my previous videos because I noticed that as I was working, I was just kind of cutting the end, you know, when I had to change colors and then leaving that and not necessarily weaving it in, which is pretty easy to do. And you could definitely do that if you wanted to have like a nice straight edge to your blanket. But like I said, I wasn't the best at keeping this edge perfectly straight. So I kind of wanted to disguise that. And I also like the look of the fringe and the movement that it gives the blanket. And I thought it added a nice touch. So I just kind of held back a certain amount of yarn or, you know, used my extra for um, tying in a couple extra pieces of fringe per row. So that created this dense fringe. And I haven't trimmed it all the same length yet. I'm still kind of deciding whether I like this rougher look where like it's not all perfectly the same length, but it's kind of close, or if I should do like a harsh line, um, which might also be pretty. So I don't know if you have an opinion, let me know in the comments, but I really like the addition of the fringe and I think it makes it more of my own. I haven't seen a lot of temperature blankets have that fringe, but yeah, that that's her all complete. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to think what to talk to you guys about as far as the project. Um, would I recommend doing this? I would say if you have a lot of extra time and extra funds to buy money, extra funds to buy yarn, um, I think it's a really cool project. I don't see myself making another one for a couple years because my problem was any time that I wanted to work on another project, once I got behind on this project, I felt like I couldn't work on the other project because I had this like lingering in the background and I knew that I wanted to get it done by the end of the year to get out this video. So maybe you won't have that, that deadline because you don't need to post a video, but it was kind of always hanging over my head, which I didn't love. Um, but overall, I think it was a fun project and I'm glad that I have it and I'm glad I made it the size that I did. Having it be large, like the dimensions that I mentioned in the previous video, I think this one ended up being about, it was a little bit shorter than what I had planned for. So this was about 105 inches at its longest side of the rectangle and then the other side was around 80. So um, I think I was crocheting a little bit tighter than I expected um, versus my gauge. So it's a very large blanket. Again, it fits on a queen size bed. And um, I'm glad that I made it that big because I wanted it to actually function as a large blanket. I hate small blankets. Um, so that's exciting. But yeah, I don't know if I would make another one anytime soon. But with all of this being said, I think it is a very traditional like knitting and crocheting project. I see a lot of people of all ages making them and I love watching YouTube videos of people's progresses or like around this time when other people are posting videos of their finished blanket. So I'm looking forward to watching those and I hope you guys are enjoying this video. And I feel like it is kind of a rite of a passage in a way for any knitters or crocheters. So of course I'm glad that I made it and I encourage you all to do so. I have gotten a couple other DMs actually on Instagram 
for people who are wanting to make one for 2022. So if you're interested in that, I can definitely facilitate a group chat and be in it to give you guys any advice or kind of help you along in your planning process for 2022. So if you're interested and inspired, feel free to send me a DM and I will put that together. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to not having to work on this anymore and that I'm so glad that it's done and I can get back to some tutorials and just some plain old knitting and crocheting like like the good old days, you know? So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends who also might be into this project. You guys can make one together and use 21 balls of yarn if like that's what you're into. And yeah, please feel free to subscribe if you want to be on the lookout for any tutorials or new videos coming from me in 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for going on this journey with me and I'll see you next year.